it take so long for y'all to tell me that the NBA has its own set of trivia games? I kid, I kid. It's not your job to keep me informed. But NBA.play.com, not an ad, not an ad, has, I guess, six different games that, that you can you can play. Uh, but today, I'm going to try to play every single one of them and see which ones we like, which ones we don't like. Basically, the ones we don't like are the ones we're not going to be good at. <laughs> Let me be honest with you. Now, this first game, three clues, who is the player. I don't know if these games are daily and they switch all the time. I have no idea. I I'm going in relatively blind. Um, why is it so small? Hold on. All right. Started career with the Hornets in 2017. Jordan Brand, classic MVP in 2016. Went to Kentucky. Well, the clue, clue number two doesn't tell me anything. Clue number three makes me think of Malik Monk. And clue number one makes me think of Malik Monk. So I'm going to go with Malik Monk. Didn't Malik Monk go to Kentucky? I'm pretty sure of it. Malik Monk is correct. That's that's the end of the game. <laughs> so, okay, it is daily. It seems like it is daily. All right. So let's go back to the main menu. We are one for one on our NBA games. <laughs> Connect two players through a common teammate. That is a game we know very, very well. Connect the two players through a common teammate. Um, both of these players play for the Lakers, different eras, um, eras, eras, years. But one thing that they do have in common is playing alongside LeBron. Jordan Clarkson played with LeBron in Cleveland, and then Kyle Kuzma won a championship with LeBron James. So, uh, are we two? Are we two for two on NBA.com games? Yes. Your answer has a rarity score of one out of one hundred. Does that so? So everybody's putting LeBron. Okay. All right. Word. Nice. Nice way to. Humble me, um, NBA.com. All right, then then I, since, since, since you want me to get deep into my bag, I will. Uh, okay, since you want me to get deep into my bag, I will. Um, yeah, just give me just give me a second. Give me a second, NBA.com. Since you, you want to act like, I, I didn't know we was going for rarity score. First of all, you didn't tell me that that was something. We, I just want to get it right. All right, now, so the, the rarity score is on the scale of 1 to 100. I'm trying to get a 70 or above. Check it. I'm trying to get a 70 or above. So let me let me lock in. Um, I would love to do this without any cuts, but I might have to I have to cut because I got two players in mind right now. But I feel like their rarity score won't be very high, so I, I gotta dig deep. I got one very similarly. Larry Nance Jr. played with Jordan Clarkson in Cleveland and played with Kyle Kuzma the first couple of years in L.A. The rarity score of thirty eight. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. Well, that's not uh, as, as high as I want it to be. A rarity score of 38. That's so sad and, and like, actually disappointed. <laughs> actually disappointed. All right, lock in. Lock in. This is our last guest, by the way. Do you want to know what I just thought about? I This whole time I was thinking about, okay, Jordan Clarkson as a Cav. Jordan Clarkson as a Jazz. Bro, they literally play for the same team. They play for the same team. Same years. I think that two years. And you know... Who somebody I'm hoping nobody remembers? Andre Ingram. Where did he score 30? Wait, what? Why did it go back to Larry Nance Jr.? Did I, did I do good? Right? Like, I'm going to double check that, but I'm, I'm, you say you got it, but it went back to Larry Nance. I'm going to make sure that that Andre Ingram year, both of these players were on the team. Jordan Clarkson, Kyle Kuzma, and Andre Ingram's right there. I mean, that Vander Blue was on this team. What? I mean, we Vander Blue has only played ten NBA games in his career. That is so surprising because if you know Vander Blue, you know that bro is a summer league superstar, and he's only played ten real NBA games. Okay, whatever. Back to the games. All right. Um, I got a hoop connect right. My rarity score is thirty-eight. Wow, I'm so good. Uh, that was bad. That was real bad. All right. How well do you know the game? If you're asking me, scale one through ten. I'm going to save six. List the five all-time assist leaders in Heat franchise history. That is something. All right. Um, so I'm going to go on. I'm just going to go strictly on games played to start off with. Dwayne Wade. Um, sheesh. Um, I'm just strictly trying to think games played because, oh, do we get negative points for wrong? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it. Um. Uh, Udonis Haslam. Games play. He ha no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. I am um fumbling. This is this is so crazy because the Heat haven't been around for long. Oh well, should I just guess LeBron James? Like, should I just guess it? I think four years of LeBron probably got him in there. Yes. Okay. 
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, now I'm just guessing players that had the ball in their hand a lot. Tim Hardaway's number two. Okay, great. Um, other other point guards in Heat history, other guards in Heat history. Um, what about what about the Dragon Goran Dragic? Got to get him out of the way. Uh, get get him in there. Yes, that's the. I'm missing one player. Fifty seconds. Relax, kitty. You got this. One player. Fifty seconds. These guys are probably not it. But what, it don't it don't it don't hurt it don't hurt to guess like like Bim, Bimbo Coles um um I I'd have bio been there for a long time okay um uh what about what about Mario Mario Chalmers Mario Chalmers was there for a long time um that's not it um sheesh all right well now I'm running out of names that's I checked Jimmy Butler already Eddie Jones Eddie Jones Eddie Jones at the buzzer Eddie Jones at, Eddie Jones at the buzzer two seconds ago three seconds ago. Who did I forget about? Um, I typed Mario Chalmers. Did I not type Mario Chalmers? Catch the Heat versus Clippers tonight on ESPN. I did catch that game. It was it was good. It was a good one. I swear I typed in Mario Chalmers. Did I click the wrong name? All right, whatever. The next game is called NBA Path. Um, in which order did did Terry Rozier play? Oh, that's kind of lame. Boston. Oh, we got to start. Boston is. First, then Charlotte, then Miami. You got to give me somebody with more than two, two plus. Like he just started for this new team. You got to give me somebody else on that one. Yay, we got it right though. First try. Okay, that's not bad though. We only got two more left. Rank NBA rank order these NBA events. Okay, let's see. And uh, get the order correct at least amount of tries. Rank these players by career games played. Well. I know who's dead last. That's going to be School Henderson. I'm going to assume that second to last is Anthony Simons. I'm going to assume the most is DeAndre Jordan. And then Jokic, because Jamal Murray missed a year and some change. That, that should be five for five. Catch Trailblazers versus Nuggets. I did not catch that one. I, that, it's actually going on right now as I'm recording it. Um, not even difficult. Not even close to difficult. Every every NBA fan is getting a hundred percent on that one. You just have to watch two two seconds of basketball to know that. And the last one: make a trio, rack up points, reach new levels. NBA blast. Oh, enjoy all forty levels. What am I? Oh, I thought they had to. They were gonna make me pull out my phone. Put three pitches in a row to score, rack up enough points before. Okay, is this really just like a, a very casual game? It it is okay. Well, I did not expect this, but since it's a vertical game, sure, sure, do that. Bring bro down. Uh, you know what's funny? I've never been good at any game like that. Like I remember back in the day, y'all, before super smartphones, there was a game named Bejeweled, and maybe Bejeweled is still around. But my my mom used to play Bejeweled, and I never was good at it. So this is yay! Woo! We got to level two. This this is this is. Not even a game. I'm not playing. I'm not even playing. I'm literally not. I didn't even play right there. But there's a double right there. Come on, switch that. Switch that. Sw sw switch it. God, why did that take so long? There's a four in a row. Or boom. Ooh, okay. Okay. Well, it's not as fun as the other ones because there's no there's no knowledge is power type moments. It's just straight up get three plus in a row for some chain. Yeah. Well. NBA Blast. I, I'm sure it has a real demographic. Because I, I understand why these games can be fun. I can, and like, what's the word? Uh, relaxing. For me personally. Oh, the, the championship trophies get rid of the whole role. Okay, okay. You think I'm about to sit here and get to level 40? You'd be you'd be highly mistaken. I'm getting out of here after this five in a row. Dang. Five in a row. Stop messing with us. We only get two moves left. We already got the over. We already got the over. That's simple. That's light work. That's light work. All right, well. Basically, um, NBA.com called me a casual because uh, I couldn't think of somebody better than Andre Ingram to connect Jordan Clarkson and Kyle, Kyle Kuzma. Um, they told me I'm, I'm dumb because I guess Mario Chalmers and they didn't count it. And what else? Everything else was extremely easy. I, I guess we could play this every once in a while. It was just too easy. It was just too easy. At least the, the other daily games make you think a little bit. These really didn't.